Greetings everyone, in this video I will show you how to install Kohya GUI on Rampo to do LoRa training. This has been asked to me many times, sorry for the delay, hopefully I will explain that today. So this is the beginning screen of the Rampod IO. Let's go to the community cloud. I will use RTX 3090 which is a very powerful GPU. Also this Rampod has 30 GB RAM. Click deploy. Select a template here. Select web automatic template. This is really important. Currently it is 6.0.1. When you are watching this tutorial it may be higher. Then go to the edit template overrides, make the container disk 10 GB, you can set the volume disk as much as you want. Set overrides and click continue, click deploy. Okay, container started, let's connect with JupyterLab. Now I am using a GitHub repository to put descriptions and use it commands in my tutorials. The link of this file will be in the description. Every command is written here. If you don't know how to use Kohya, I have excellent tutorial here. You can click this link and watch it. Also, if you don't know how to use Rampot, I have another excellent tutorial here. You can click and watch it. So the commands are ready here. Kohya Lora Guai on Rampot. First thing is we will clone the repository with this command. Select it, copy. Then in the JupyterLab terminal, in the workspace let's clone the repository like this the repository is cloned then this command now we are inside kohya ss then we will generate a new virtual environment in this folder with this command the virtual environment is generated inside kohya ss folder here then we will execute this command now the new virtual environment is activated now we will run this command. This won't affect our stable diffusion installation on our RAM pod. So this is a very convenient way to install Kohya on RAM pod. Okay, in the first try we have got an error because obviously the download of the file failed. So what I am going to do is I will repeat the operation. So I will rerun the command to be sure. To rerun the command I just did like this while the virtual environment is activated. Okay, this time we didn't get the previous error. However, we have got T Kinter error. This is the most common error that you were encountering. I have a solution for that. While virtual environment is activated, you don't need to run this again. However, if you start a new CMD, you need to do. Then just copy this command. While virtual environment is activated, paste it like this. Then copy this command. This will install this T Kinter. It is installed. And finally, we will install latest torch, copy, while virtual environment is activated, install. This is really important. You need to have Kohya SS virtual environment to be activated while executing all of these commands. So if your virtual environment is activated, you don't need to run this once again. The torch installation is pretty fast. It is installing 2.0.1 version, which is the latest official version. This is being installed in our Kohya virtual environment. This won't affect our stable diffusion installation. By default, Kohya is installing 1.12, which works pretty slow on the newest GPUs. Okay, the installation has been completed. You can ignore this message because we won't use Xformers while training. It is just slowing us down. Then we will start the Kohya web UI. Copy this. For starting this, you don't need to have virtual environment activated. Actually, it is preferably not to activate it. Open a new terminal inside Kohya SS like this. Just copy paste it. It will automatically activate the virtual environment and also it will give you a gradual link like this. Open it. And the Kohya web UI started on Rampot and ready to use. As I said, if you don't know how to use Kohya to do training, you can watch this amazing tutorial. I will do a quick demonstration of training. So I will use realistic vision full model to download it. Just copy this, run it inside stable diffusion models folder so we can use it with our automatic 11.11 web UI. I will also download the best via file from this link. It will get into via folder. You can also download realistic vision version 2 classification images from this post posted on our Patreon. So I will use these training images same as in the last video. I have uploaded them to here. Also classification images are ready as well. So in the Kohya web UI, obviously 
these icons won't work because we are on rampot therefore we need to copy paste the model path ourselves or you can use the automatic models from this drop down so i will get the path of the model from stable diffusion realistic vision copy path paste it here put a backslash to the beginning of it and our model is ready then as shown in the previous video or hwx man i will set the training images directory manually which is here copy path let's also set the regularization images copy path like this and the destination directory will be test one prepare training data okay test one appeared here copy in photo folders tab okay everything is copied and in the training parameters i will use everything default only network rank 256 these are the best settings that i have found in the advanced tab now this is important don't use xformers uncheck it and finally let's also save our configuration so for saving open a notepad file type workspace oh yeah test one dot json it will be saved here copy paste it here save and you will see kohia test one dot json file is generated from there you can just load it by typing this type here and click load and it will load the settings okay everything ready let's train model and we will see entire training in here by the way we have forgotten to set number of epochs therefore i will kill and restart so shut down all of the terminals okay let's go back to kohia folder open a new terminal start the web ui with this command once again like this open the new link let's copy our saved configuration file like this put a slash to beginning of it click load settings are loaded let's also set the epochs like 14 save every one epoch save and click training okay training started you see there are some errors and warning messages these are fine it is just working very well the important thing is do not use xformers okay it has started and the it per second you are seeing 5.4 with batch size 1 i can also increase batch size currently gpu memory used is only 60 percent because automatic 11.11 web ui is also running at the same time on the same gpu this is also using some vram you see i have opened it the first checkpoint already saved it. the second checkpoint already saved it now it is processing the third checkpoint with 5.15 it per second okay entire training is done in three minutes and only 53 seconds the files are generated inside test one folder inside model and here are checkpoints let's also save the last checkpoint as 14 then i will select all while hitting left shift with cut and then i will move them into my stable diffusion web ui inside models inside lora folder paste here and all pasted let's refresh our web ui refresh models folder let's pick realistic vision okay realistic vision is selected click show hide extra networks in here click lora click refresh okay lora checkpoints arrived let's see last checkpoint and see our result photo of of hwx man generate and here our picture it doesn't look very good we need to do some beautifying and also some checkpoint comparison so i will go to the tutorials in my github page i will go to the generate studio quality realistic photos in here i have some prompts i will copy the negative prompt as well and let's say dpm sde karas 30 steps dft scale 5 let's try again okay still not looking very good so let's try different checkpoints interestingly the results are not very good i have found the reason because i have uploaded only one training image and based on this image the model was trained how did i notice it i noticed it from these processing messages displayed on the command line interface you see it says that 4d of hwx man is containing one image files so you may also encounter such problem be careful now i will repeat the training and see what will happen and nothing else is different only i will change the model output name as test 3 save hit train 
this time it will take more time because it was doing training only on single image now the training okay it is still seeing only single image oh i see because we need to update this folder as well don't forget that so let's kill this too so i go to the test one folder go to the image folder in here i will upload the training images into this folder otherwise it won't be effective let's go back to the kohi ss and restart okay test four save train and you see now it has found 13 images correct number of steps is correct total number of steps and other things are correct of course this time it will take 13 times more time i am not deleting any of these parts of the video because you may also encounter such problems you may also make same mistakes this is how you debug your mistake debug your error and fix it training started and this time it is taking like 48 minutes it has been 10 epochs since the training started i think this is enough for testing purposes and demonstration so i will terminate this terminal the model files are saved inside test1 folder inside model with the name as test4 so i will cut them paste into the lora folder paste it let's connect to our stable diffusion web ui let's load the last prompt so this time we will use the new lora to do that let's click the show height extra networks lora refresh okay test for lora has arrived let's look for the checkpoint six okay it looks like memorized overtrain it because there is no stylization let's look for lower checkpoint with checkpoint two we are able to get somewhat okay results however this is still not very good i know the reason because i have repeating backgrounds and same clothing in my training images and when i check the generated images i see that it is almost generating same backgrounds in the images which means it is memorized one another thing is even if i use checkpoint 3 you see it is the same place of the training images that means this model is already overtrained with checkpoint 3 checkpoint 2 is also already overtrained i think therefore what we need to do is we need to have better training data set first of all this is really important another thing is we need to reduce number of repeating because with number of repeating 40 we are not able to save more frequent checkpointing with lesser training data it is saving checkpoints after every 40 multiplied with 30 steps therefore it is 520 steps over for every checkpoint saving therefore we can reduce this to 20 and have more frequent more fine-tuned checkpoints other than that network rank 128 may work better on unix maybe we can try other optimizers you see there are so many optimizers but improving our training data set is the number one thing that will improve our training quality this is all for today so the link of this page will be in the description and also in the pinned comment of the video everything you need is written here i didn't compare realistic vision half model versus full model so you can test both of them i will also add the full model link here if you support us on patreon i would appreciate that very much also on our channel we have amazing other stable diffusion related videos as well just go to the playlist you will see our stable diffusion playlist all of the stable diffusion related videos are in here check it out also please support us on patreon and by joining our youtube channel i would appreciate those very much and if you start our repository fork it and watch it i would appreciate that too you will find a lot of useful stuff on our github repository you will find tutorials other useful readme files and in our github page all of our stable diffusion tutorials are listed like you are seeing right now neatly organized with their thumbnails their titles so you can check out this link and see which one of them you want to learn hopefully see you in another amazing video tutorial and don't forget to join our discord channel